Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's Mac here from Cryptstar Staking, here for another beautiful video for you guys. And in this video, today we're going to be talking about the full functionality of the Ink Whale platform. So the Ink Whale platform has actually grown to be a lot bigger than I originally thought it was going to be. Uh, I didn't realize they added some extra features. So the Art Zero team, they did reach out to me and ask me to go ahead and cover uh, some of the different features that they've added since the last time I kind of checked in on the project. I was really excited for the Inkwell platform just to be released, but I didn't realize they had, they had kind of added more to their roadmap. So today's video, I'm going to cover that. I'm also going to cover their tokenomics, uh, some of the pluses and minuses behind the tokenomics. I think this is a very, very unique tokenomic model. Uh, so I'm going to cover sort of what the issues I could see in the future. But I think the, I mean, I think it's, it's very innovative. So I think there's, it's not going to be perfect. And they're going to probably have to do some tweaking. But uh, they're, I, th I feel like they're open and, and transparent enough to go ahead and, you know, fix issues as they come along. So we'll, we'll cover that in the video today. And I'll talk to you guys about uh, my my investment strategy, what I feel like the better the better deal would be if you're going to buy the different, uh, the 10 million Inkwell tokens that are available at the fixed price. Or you're going to dip into the 90 million Inkwell tokens that are available at the lower price price but you're gonna have to do a 18 month vesting period and i think for different people different uh di the different sales will be uh will will have different sort of outcomes and different goals as well so different people have different goals and i think those goals will align with either one or the other so once this public sale is completed these inkwell tokens will be traded on dexes such as common and panorama swap so you know inkwell is working on you know, sort of building the ecosystem, creating connections around the ecosystem so that way they can all kind of thrive together and not just kind of go solo. I think that's one reason why they, they decided to go ahead and launch this this uh, this order book DEX instead of just launching another AMM similar to Panorama Swap or Andromeda Swap or, or Common. I think they, they chose definitely a good route here uh, by making the order book DEX, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. So. Uh, we might distribute uh, 50 million inkwell to strategic investors if no strategic investor is found these tokens will be burnt so that's five percent so it's uh, the total count is uh, one billion tokens so <clears throat> if you think about it it's about a million million right so yeah no no uh, yeah, a million million so yes the basically it's about one percent ink one percent of the inkwell tokens is available for the public sale which isn't a whole lot and then about nine percent is for the public at a lower price so it's actually quite a limited amount that's available for public uh and there's a lot more allocated towards the staking you can see down here 60 percent is allocated towards the reward pool which will be used for you know staking your 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 inkwell token or for different things on the art art zero nft marketplace and other products other partner projects within the lf zero ecosystem so some of these examples of usage are limited are, are are but are not limited to creating staking pools to reward nft token stakers reward traders on the inkwell order book decks reward traders on art zero nft marketplaces and their estimated for time to distribute all of these rewards is about 10 years so they have a pretty long uh, i guess you could call it a uh, timeline that they're planning to go ahead and keep this decks running and i'm sure that they can come out with some sort of other uh, tokenomics if we end up exceeding the 10 years which obviously bitcoin hasn't even exceeded well just exceeded the 10 years so i've not i have no idea how where it's going to go uh, honestly i think so far they've made really great products and i am going to go ahead and now talk about what i think the 90 million who would buy the direct tokens and who would buy the the vesting tokens so for the vesting tokens here the public sale with vesting which is about 88 million left that seems to be relatively popular about one tenth the amount as popular as the public sale no vesting but if you wanted to be one of the first to go ahead and create a token on this platform which is one reason i did it because i know that this list is going to get long and i'm willing to bet they're going to go ahead oops and i'm willing to bet they're going to go ahead and uh sort of order the list probably either by name or by date created so if you're earlier in the blockchain you're earlier in the blocks then you're probably going to be higher on the list and you can be say hey i'm the first but also the public sale without vesting it means that if we do get an immediate pump of the inkwell token because of the lack of supply you're able to sell it much earlier and with the 18th month with the 18 month rule it's going to be a bit harder to go ahead and you're going to have to sell over time so for me i think the public sale with the vesting is more for those of you guys who want to use the decks and you want to trade on the decks 
And also, if you believe in the product long term, um, if you want to make a quick buck, you go with the public sale, no vesting. And if you think it's going to pump earlier or not, then you get this one and then you're much, I guess, maybe much more mm, short term, I guess. Yeah, well, probably this one. Or if you want to use some of these larger features earlier, it's going to be really hard to get you know, enough inkwell tokens by doing the public sale uh, with the vesting to get enough tokens, like 10,000 tokens to create a token for this would be like, you know, you need 5% of 200,000 or something, right? So, yeah, because you get you get 5,000 from 100,000. So, yeah, you need about 200,000 Linkwell tokens to get enough to make a token from here. So, there's different use cases, but I just stated what what I think each one would be for each type of sale. Uh, this one also is very limited quantity. So, if it, once it's gone, it's gone. So, sorry, the public sale with no vesting. So, only 9 million left. So, it already has 10% sold. So you can see it's actually very, very popular. This one seems like it's a little bit more popular, but in terms of percentage-wise, they're um, kind of close. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the next part. Uh, I talked about how to acquire Inkwell just now, so I'm going to skip over that. For the token staking pool, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Like I mentioned, they have two features. Uh, they have two different pools here. So they have token pools and then NFT pools. Here we got token pools, the Inkwell token is the only one right now for the token pool. We're going to make a peak coin token pool probably here soon. Uh, maybe in the next day or so after we do the airdrop. Like I mentioned, we're doing an airdrop. So if you want to join, we're going to be doing it. Uh, probably giving, handing out the winners. Well, basically anybody who goes ahead and puts your address in, I'm going to send some tokens to. So it's it's just mostly meant as a meme coin, something fun because we all know Pete is a great guy. So let's go ahead and uh, you know support the peak coin. And, um, well, I'm trying to figure out a way how I can do airdrops to all Isle of Zero stakers so that everybody can have a piece of Pete. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Then we can go and take a look at the NFT pools. Praying Mantis Predators is one of them. So I'm waiting for this one to go ahead and stake my PF, uh, PMP. And then Isle Zero Punks here. I went and staked mine. Earlier today, I already made, you know, one-tenth of a Inkwell token. So... Let's take a look at creating the single staking pool. These two are pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory to create a pool. It costs 1,500 Inkwell tokens, and the team has promised to go ahead and just burn that 1,500 tokens. So you don't have to worry about them double dipping or anything like that. They're just going to burn it directly, and yeah. Don't worry about the double dipping thing. They are gonna, they're, they already received the, the, the money for the Inkwell tokens from in Azero when you purchase the Inkwell tokens. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, jump right back into token interaction here. So you can check token information, transfer or burn any PSP22 token, where it was created, if whether it was created on the Inkwell platform or not. So you can actually create the tokens yourself if you want and not pay for the platform fee. So it's kind of up to you if you guys want to just interact with the blockchain directly and create the token. But if you create the token with the platform, I'm guessing that they're going to try and be more accommodative to other services that are offered to tokens if you create it on the platform but honestly i'm not sure about that uh it might be just a completely open source thing and it's just a service that they're providing so if it if you're only going to make one token and the 30 bucks it saves you time and learning how to launch your own token then i would recommend you know just purchasing the inkwell tokens and doing it through the platform but yeah anyways let's go ahead and jump down to the launch pad. So Inkwell wants to also launch a launch pad here, which is a permissionless crowdfunding platform that assists projects on LF0 blockchain and raising funds by offering their tokens to public users. It is the pioneer of digital exchange offering, IEO mechanism, a widely popular method among crypto startups to grow their funds. Launchpad creator can set up vesting schedule and whitelist for each sale. We plan to have a launch pad ready for test day by the end of quarter two, 2023. So it sounds like the public test is coming for this very soon. They have a lot in the pipeline actually for the Inkwell token. And I believe the Inkwell token is going to be used to pay the fees to go ahead and launch on this launch pad. So this is another burning mechanism that's offered by the Inkwell platform for the Inkwell token. So this is also very, very bullish for me for the Inkwell platform. That's why I think the short term $10 million is actually going to run out, or sorry, 10 million Inkwell tokens. It's probably going to run out a lot faster uh, than the other one. And because a lot of people will want to be taking advantage of this, you know, token launch pad. So I think that's one reason why you might want to jump into the the, uh, the public sale with no vesting here. Uh, that's what's one reason a lot of people will want to do that because you have a lot more liquidity to go ahead and make a profit off of the different startups that are trying to launch using this launch pad. 
Now let's go ahead and jump into the order book decks, which is the next feature that is coming to the Inkwell platform. This is not going to be an AMM similar to Panorama Swap, Andromeda Swap, or Common. They decided to go a different path, a better path, I think, with the order books. So order books are really nice. You can place an order for a long period of time. And then if the order gets filled, then you can buy at the price that you want to buy at. You don't have to worry about uh, paying like a slippage fee or anything like that. You just pay the Inkwell fee to go ahead and you know, make the order, and I'm guessing if you cancel the order, you get the inkwell back. So, basically, like a trading fee on KuCoin or or Bit, uh, uh, Binance or whatever, you you have to pay the trading fee in the inkwell token. So, yeah, it's really going to be uh, interesting to me. I'm I'm curious to see how they implemented the fees using the inkwell token. I know that many block uh, blockchain order book dexes have tried to make like fees based on a token, but it hasn't worked out so well. Only the centralized exchanges have managed to incorporate like a, a dual fee model where you're you're able to pay like in the KSS, the KuCoin wallet or whatever, or the KuCoin token, and you're able to get like a more more money or you're able to get a little cheaper discount on the fees and also get lower fees by staking the KuCoin wallet or staking the KuCoin token. So I think that uh, they're probably going to implement something like that where you stake the Inkwell token and you get reduced fees and then you can reduce fees even more by using Inkwell token. Or you can use, you know, Aleph Zero directly, and then that'll use to buy and burn Inkwell token. There's so many things that they can do with this, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more information coming out in the future regarding this. But they did talk about here, uh, one of the big points they want to focus on in this new order book decks is to illustrate the concept. They want to make an order. If you make an order on the DAP using the Inkwell order book, market can be matched with an order made on a completely separate DAP composing with that same market. So for example, if Change Finance wants to go ahead and use Inkwell's uh, DEX's liquidity, then Change Finance can go ahead and tap into the Inkwell smart contracts via the LF0 blockchain. I don't believe that they're going to have to use a an, 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 what do you call it, a uh, API or anything like that. It's just going to be done directly through the blockchain using the Ink uh, smart contracts. So very, very bullish for me. If they managed to knock out everything else in their roadmap so far and they're just adding so much I'm, I'm crazy how much their team must have grown by being able to launch all this stuff but i mean with lf0 using rust it's much easier for i think developers to develop things really fast so all right so let me go ahead and show you guys now how to go ahead and add uh inkwell to your sub wallet as well as you can add add any other token from the inkwell platform or to your sub wallet, uh, any token on LF0. So you can basically copy this token ID here. And right here, I'll copy the uh, Inkwell. So this is for Inkwell token. Let's go ahead and copy the Pete Twink token right here. Copy that. I'm just going to hit Control C, Control P. From there, you can go ahead over to sub wallet. It's quite easy to add here. And go to manage tokens on the bottom there. And then just press the little plus button up here. And from there, let's go ahead and paste in the address oops sorry you have to uh, select the network first i love zero and then select the token type the right now there's only psb22 then just paste in the address here and you can see pete pops up right away because it's just so fast that Bitcoin. and uh yeah and you can you guys can see now it's showing in my wallet my Bitcoin. coin i got eight the eight million and eighty five Bitcoin. coin eight zero 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 eight five a very important number in Pete's life, I'm sure. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. How you guys can add Pete coin. It's the same method for adding any other token. Hopefully, the uh, Inkwell token team will go ahead and talk to Subwallet and figuring out how to uh, figure out how to get your little icon showing up in your Inkwell or in your uh, Subwallet. That'd be really great. I was very excited to see how this project goes. Go ahead and make sure you guys, of course, subscribe and follow me on Twitter if you guys get a chance. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So, peace out, everybody. Have a good day.